The Minecraft community is one of the most difficult spaces to make content in. I've gotten a lot of hate in my days here, seen a lot of toxicity, and dealt with a lot of extremists. But this isn't my sob story. Why is it so hard to make Minecraft content nowadays, especially video, essays, or critiques? Well, let's go through all of the reasons today. So it should go without saying that there's a pretty substantial difference between a hate video and a critique video. Like, an actual critique of Minecraft would be White Lights. Videos like Just Starfishes are a bit of a mix of the both. You also have critiques that are more focused around idea sharing, like my own progression video. Except, pretty much whenever anyone makes any kind of little criticism of Minecraft, or suggests a way that the game could be better, there will always be at least that one person that's saying, well, you just hate the game, why are you hating? I've dealt with this myself after my progression video, people insisting that I just don't like Minecraft and can't come to terms with that reality. And I know many other YouTubers in this niche have dealt with a similar thing. And you know what? Those people are right when they say I don't like Minecraft. I love Minecraft so much. I don't think there has been a single game that has given me more enjoyment than Minecraft. In some of the rougher stretches of my life, as sad as it may sound, Minecraft really helped me to get through them. Which is why I found it pretty crazy that after my progression video, I had people saying that I don't like the game, simply because I suggested ways that it could be better. And that actually brings us into reason number two. A lot of the Minecraft community seems to sort of think it's at war, but in reality it just isn't. There's no one on the other side to be fighting. Well, maybe a select few people, but definitely not enough for it to be a concern. Because again, there's the idea that all of these people making Minecraft critiques or suggestion videos just hate the game and are against it and the community which can cause people to get really toxic to people that are part of the same community as them. Because they think they're on different sides, but they're not. And there's one particular word that can uh, trigger this hatred. Progression. It's like with some people, just the second they hear the word progression in a Minecraft critique, their minds and ears just shut off and they go full hate mode. And these people seem to only think of progression in the linear, vertical sense of just going from point A to B to C, so on, getting stronger and stronger, maxing out your gear, leveling up, gain 5 million power and rise of kingdoms. Even though if you actually listened to, like, what I had to say in my progression video, that's not what I was talking about at all. I had people accusing me of trying to make the game more linear for some reason, even though I said the point of the plan was to make the progression less linear. That progression plan I proposed was to give the player more freedom in how they proceed after the end, so that they aren't defined by one path that they have to take or only one ending that they can get. It's a really good video, and I stand by pretty much all of what I said in it, not to toot my own horn, but I recommend watching it. But pretty much the main counter-argument to that video was a progression isn't the point of Minecraft, which is a argument that has been debunked several times. The Geek Factor even made a video debunking that argument. But yeah, no, progression isn't the sole point of Minecraft, but neither is building, neither is adventure, so if we can't change anything in progression because it's not the entire point of Minecraft, well, sorry guys, that means we can't get any new building blocks, can't get any new structures, no trial chambers, none of that. People say it's a waste of development time to focus on progression because it doesn't contribute to the player's freedom and enjoyment, which is ultimately the point of Minecraft, supposedly. But really, progression can. Anything that contributes to the player's freedom and enjoyment is a worthwhile use of development time. And my progression plan did exactly that. It gave the player more freedom in how they progress, allowed them to express themselves further with it even, and also made it just more enjoyable. If Minecraft is all about expression and we can express ourselves in builds, why can't we also express ourselves in how we go about progressing, how we adventure, how we fight? Shouldn't those also be means of expression since they're core aspects of the game? 
I'm not a hater of Minecraft, and I know many other people who get that accusation that aren't, because some people have just had their minds hardwired to the second they hear progression go, oh, enemy detected. And this will segue nicely into reason number three. The argument of supremacy, or the debate over which core aspect of Minecraft deserves attention over the others, is something that is ever ongoing. I have seen people argue that it's building because every core aspect hinges on building, but that's not true. Every core aspect hinges on each other, they're all intertwined in some way. In order to progress, you need to place a crafting table. In order to get stone to build, you need to progress to get a wooden pickaxe, and so on. Progression is an aspect that is present in pretty much all of your Minecraft playthrough. It's a very vague term, technically. Making a cow farm? That's technically progression. Building a house? That's progression. Entering a trial chamber is also progression. Meanwhile, that's also adventure, and then when you fight the mobs, that's combat. See what I mean by how these aspects intertwine? If you take one out, the game basically falls apart, and then we no longer have the Minecraft that we all know and love. And now for the fourth reason. Toxicity gets views. Videos that are antagonistic, hateful, or just trashing on someone else's video. Why would you want to make any video sharing your thoughts and ideas when you know there's a fair chance now that someone's gonna make a response video to it calling it absolute garbage or terrible? To say it's demoralizing is an immense understatement. Now, for the fifth and final reason. There have been some of the intrinsically motivated Minecraft players that are under the false belief that Minecraft is just for them. As in, it's not meant for the extrinsically motivated, and if you're an extrinsically motivated person, you just shouldn't be playing Minecraft and have no right to critique it, which is absurd, plainly. As I've said before, at the end of the day, video games are made to appeal to the extrinsically motivated, because that takes effort on the developer's side. They can also appeal to the intrinsically motivated at the same time, but video games aren't just for the intrinsically motivated, and that includes Minecraft. So if you have someone telling you that Minecraft isn't for you because you're an extrinsically motivated person, don't listen to that person, just straight up. I mean on that specific subject matter, because they likely don't know what they're talking about and are just being selfish in the belief that Minecraft is only for them. And so, with all of this hate, toxicity, negativity, it becomes really hard to make any kind of ideological video about Minecraft now. Because, well, share your ideas and you may be deemed a hater. But something that should be obvious is if someone's taking the time to make Minecraft videos, they probably don't hate Minecraft. I've also seen people say, oh, just go play Terraria in regards to progression videos. Except, again, videos like my progression video were making Minecraft into essentially the opposite of Terraria. By making it less linear and further embracing the freedom that comes with an open world. But what people seem to fail to understand oftentimes now is that not all progression is the same. But it is just so disheartening to see what has become of the community in these days. I don't say that lightly. People are so hasty now to deem other people as wrong or bad. So, if you're someone watching this and you have your own ideas for what could be done to make Minecraft better, or have your own criticisms, or just want to share your thoughts as you have every right to as a person, then I encourage you, do so. Toxic people can be very discouraging, but consider pressing on anyway. I intend to do so myself. I'm going to be continuing my Improving Minecraft series with a bunch of other idea pitches even though my first one didn't land too well with some people. But whenever you're making a video essay or critique of any kind, you're gonna ruffle a few feathers, that's a given anyway. 
And if someone's being a jerk even after you've tried to reason with them or debunked their points, then at that point, just ignore them, honestly. That's my advice if you want to get into Minecraft content creation or want to continue. So, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope to see you in the next one, but for now, alas, goodbye.